A travel alert tonight for thousands of people scheduled to fly on Boeing's top selling plane. Right now, airlines are rushing to rebook flights nationwide after an order to ground the aircraft involved in that deadly Ethiopian Airlines crash. Any plane currently in the air will go to its destination and thereafter be grounded until further notice. That's right, the U.S. now joins 45 other countries in pulling this 737 MAX 8 and 9 jets after two deadly crashes on those planes in just a matter of five months. Our tennis reporter Amanda Brandeis has been at the San Diego airport all afternoon. So Amanda, how is this affecting flights here? Well, thankfully, we're not seeing any major impacts here at the San Diego airport so far. I did see one American Airlines flight to Chicago that was canceled. But as you can see here, things are pretty much running on schedule. These are the Southwest departures you're looking at. Southwest has 34 of these aircrafts, which only account for about 5% of their fleet. One did land here in San Diego this afternoon from Kansas City. Most passengers on board hadn't heard the plane would be grounded until I told them at baggage claim. Most said they didn't have major concerns flying today, but were happy with the decision to ground the planes to ensure they're 100 percent safe. I called Southwest to see if we'd be flying in one of the Max 8s uh, for our flight today and uh, after a 40 minute hold <laughs> I finally got a hold of somebody and said yes and uh, if you don't want to fly it you can switch your flight and I said now nah, we'll roll with it so we did and uh, about 30 minutes after takeoff I found on uh, online that our all the flights on the Max 8s were grounded. Southwest is offering flexible rebooking policies. Customers booked on a canceled Max 8 flight can rebook without any additional fees or fare differences within 14 days of their original travel date. American Airlines is also working with customers impacted by flight cancellations. They say customers can request a full refund. Now coming up at 6, I did talk to a former pilot and an aviation expert. He tells me why he applauds this decision. We're now reporting live at the San Diego airport. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. We all need to hear that. Thank you, Amanda.